you walk into a stadium and suddenly you're with 10, 12,000 people and you just feel part of something going on and you get captured up with the emotion and the flow of the game. Today, you're connected all the time and I think technology has really enabled that. I'm John and I'm a huge Watford fan. Hello, sweetheart. Come in. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. <laughs> my dad went to his first game in 1947 when he was 12, and he took me to my first game in 1977 when I was 12 also. Along with going to support Watford, I think it's more about spending time with my dad and my granddad and all the people that sit around us. So how are we going to do? I'm hopeful because yeah. I feel like you've got to have a positive That's all we attitude. can be when you're in Watford. But, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I love being part of the uh, Watford fan communities. That's what really football's about. It's really about community. For as long as I can remember, it was almost impossible to upload and share videos for the stadium. But now in recent weeks, they've introduced 5G and it is allowing me to connect with my fan group around the world as if they were there in the stadium with us. I think we better go. Ready? Don't forget me to Come on, There's 22,200 seats in this stadium. A few hours till kick off yet. Canonical is a technology company and the publisher of Ubuntu, which is the widest distributed Linux operating system. What we offer is a selection of software that is secure, reliable and open source. I am very happy to be here and bringing the benefits of 5G to large venues like the Watford Stadium using our open source technologies. For the last two decades, we've been working to make open source accessible to the widest possible audience. And we are so proud to be doing this work with the BT Group, who are the leaders in the industry. Since we've engaged Canonical, we've moved from a customer supplier to an actual partnership, and we work really, really closely with Canonical. As telecoms becomes more cloud-based, particularly 5G, which is actually based on a cloud-based standards, BT's had to develop an infrastructure to support this capability. Um, hence, we've been working with Canonical to develop that. And that, in conjunction with our IP core and our radio access network, allows us to provision 5G services for EE. Oh, Dad, they've done the team. I'm just going to go and have a look. Have we got any winners? Well, hopefully Watford are a winner today. <laughs> Sometimes I'll see like my friends throwing up, like, oh, I didn't know you were Watford support. You were at the game, and then we meet up, which is always really nice. You're going to get Liv? Yeah, I'm just going to text her to meet us by the statue. I'm actually in chat groups and also then dialing into a podcast. Big community of fans calling in, talking about the game. We can share photos. We send it to Mum and we send it to Auntie Ali. Yeah? Okay. I used to think it was just me that didn't have a signal, but it seemed like no one did. A recent game suddenly went, oh, what's happened? I can call you. And then I found out about the 5G upgrade. <laughs> Throughout our partnership, BT Group gains economies of scale, rolling out secure data centers on demand. Working with Canonical has really enabled us to bring the power of open source software as we converge more and more of our services onto cloud infrastructure. Come on! In the last year, we've moved the entire mobile base for EE onto this infrastructure. So if you're on EE, you're on Canonical. One of the key benefits of 5G is it brings increased capability and coverage to high density areas. And what higher density area could you have than a football stadium where you get tens of thousands of supporters congregating in a, such a small space every weekend? 5G now allows me to do something I could never do before, which is to share instantaneously videos of me with my dad at a game, and I can share that with my family immediately. It's a game changer for us. It's brilliant that Watford have recognised the importance of match day connectivity to their fans and it's fantastic that we and EE have been able to work with Watford to provide 5G capability underpinned by Canonical software. It's so unlucky. He should have scored again. Disappointing, but never mind. No, everybody's saying the same. Next time, next game. <laughs> <laughs> Good game though.